I'm recording. I'm not getting permission for recording. Hold oh, on, don't. No. There's no need to assault anybody. I'm gonna call the police. They look like me. Yeah, absolutely. They're gonna put us at danger. Okay. You're you, risking our you lives. Yeah, you can film all you want. I didn't see you guys on the property. What are those lights? Yeah. Where are we filming? Yeah, what's going on? We're waiting for the postmaster to respond so we can lock up. Do I have to answer that question? It... We actually are, ma'am. You are misinforming are people. Missing... Show your face you or I'll call the police. You... Response from the post office. Look at that bug. <laughs> Public photography. What does that mean? Yeah, hey, there's guys with like masks on filming anyway, stuff. Anyway, I find it interesting because this is a telegram office and it's against the law. What are you guys filming right now? He doesn't like that the sergeant is telling him to leave us alone. Your ID and your have to destroy that. I just have some guests that are a little uncomfortable with it. Welcome to Impact Media, where we dive headfirst into the intriguing world of First Amendment auditing and expose the realities of a society surrounded by cameras and cluelessness. Get ready for a roller coaster ride as we educate, entertain, and sometimes make you facepalm at the lack of privacy knowledge out there as we remind people that they are always being filmed. Join us as we capture the hilarious reactions of unsuspecting individuals to public filming. Some reactions will make you laugh, while others will leave you questioning the state of education in our tech filled landscape. Brace yourself for eye opening encounters, mind boggling encounters, and a whole lot of did that really just happen? moments. Get ready to laugh, cringe, and most importantly, learn about your rights in a world where even your cup of coffee might be watching you. Welcome to a channel where we expose the absurdities one camera at a time. And never forget to please take a second and like this video so the YouTube algorithm bots can share this far and wide. All right, guys, we are here in San Diego. And, uh, you know, I went to brush my teeth this morning. It looks like I need some braces soon. Starting to get some separation going on. Um, we are at Starbucks this morning, you know, easy way to start the day just chillaxing and we are gonna go to uh, some other spots after this and by the way just so everybody understands uh, we are working on two formal complaints now I'm still working on one um, I actually have an attorney help me draft the first one and then as of yesterday yesterday I had to create another one so we're working on that as well So we have some people out here enjoying their uh, Wednesday morning coffee. Look like the supporter honking at us. I hopefully I got shot off to check later, but usually they honk as they're driving right here, so it's really hard to just spin the camera around like sonic speed. Oh, they're telling them. <laughs> so the guy in the truck told them that they were being filmed, and that's pretty funny. I'm gonna audio test my mics here. That's six seven. Fifteen. Eleven four. Seven three five two three four. Just so you guys understand, uh, reflection in this case is pretty brutal. She doesn't even have much window tent in the front, and we still can't see anything because of the reflection and the angle that we're sitting at. So I think she, they feel always like we can see more than we can. Ideal cabinets doesn't believe in the First Amendment. That's wonderful. Why would you flip off people exercising their First Amendment right? Why would you flip off somebody exercising their First Amendment right without asking questions? Bill of Rights gives us the ability to do this. Companies like yours should stand by that, not flip people off. Well, you're repping them, so guess what? Today it's your company. 
Are you asking why you're being recorded while your car is filming me without consent? Yeah, why is your car filming us? You guys are filming us without consent every time you drive around. There's a camera pointing at me right now. Huh? I can't hear you. No, just proving a point. We're just taking video. All right. Huh? Yeah, just filming everybody. Huh? All right. We remind people you're being filmed all the time. That's why we're here. Well, <laughs> well then you have a good day. Note guys, we are pretty far away from the drive-thru on the sidewalk right here. Uh, untraversed sidewalk, by the way. Um, and yeah, so they're also behind a hedge. So they have a little bit of a distance between us. I would say between us and the nearest driver is gonna be at least 20 to 23 feet. So we're out of the way. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Just out of curiosity, if you don't mind me asking, why are we filming? I was just taking some video. Okay. I just have some guests that are a little uncomfortable with it. Really? Yeah, they just let me know, so. Oh, okay. I just figured I'd come out, see, see if it's anything. All right. I need to address I don't. I don't know how to control their comfort yeah, or what. No, you're good. Or what your concerns might be. No, you're good. I just want to make sure they're good, so. Yeah. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. Thank you. We're from Wendy's. We're trying to get the uh, recipes. <laughs> so this lady was cam backing us and then looks like she's placed a phone call. Um, the funny part is she was cam backing us and we weren't even recording her. We're getting all kinds of cam backs today. What's that? What are, you? what are we? We're human. I can barely hear you. I'm just oh, we're just taking video of everybody coming through. Yep, she just told on us. In the store? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. What's up, guys? Just hanging out. 
I can barely hear you. We got tons of cars behind us. What are you guys filming right now? Golf cart security came up to us. Hard looking at me. Why is that guy walking like that? Yeah, like security got the uh, little club car going on. Oh, he's gonna just chill now. I feel so discriminated against. Why does everyone look at us like we're aliens? Sir, I didn't give you consent to record me from private. Yeah, you're recording us from private property. Hey, there he is, right there. What are you filming? What's that? What are you filming? Oh, I was taking some video. We're investigating some stuff. The dog loves cameras. Harass? Who's harassing? Why are you oh, that? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? I asked you first. Does that matter? Yeah. Do I have to answer? No. But None of us have to answer. Guess what? We live in a free country and you're looking like an idiot right now. Awesome. Yeah, why do you keep turning your phone sideways? Is it's this... not going to give you a good picture. What the? You got to pick one direction or the other. Yeah, okay. that, those pictures are all blurry. I know that. Okay. We'll pose if you want a really good picture. Okay. I mean, you already got a few on your other phone. I don't know why you need more. We got sent here to investigate somebody. Oh, is that right? Who yep. I'm I telling you that. something? No, I said you guys are doing the Lord's work, right? Doing a what? You guys are doing the Lord's work, right? You guys are investigating something, aren't you? No. Didn't you just say you were investigating Not for the Lord. Alright, for whatever. You're investigating something, right? Yeah. Well, and you're awesome. impeding our investigation, so if okay. I could kindly ask you to not bother us anymore? I won't bother you. I'm going to stay on the property where I work, and I'm going to be right here. Do everything that I'm allowed to do. Alright. Which, which is very little, by the way. Yeah, it's not much at all. If you have a problem with this, just tell me.
my support, uh, superiors. I think he's Perfect. exercising all the authority he has right now to stand there and stare at us and talk. And that's yeah, fine. It's fine. I'm doing it without a mask. Too. That's fine. You could wear a mask. That's, up. that's your choice. It has nothing to do with fear. It has to do with exercising your First Amendment rights. I respect that. Personally, when you're on the job, I'm not taking anything personal. I Why think this is awesome. Here? You guys, there's like one minor, and then what? You guys are two adults, or is it one adult, two minors? And you guys took you guys out for a little joyride. Why are you asking how many minors there are here? Because you said he was a minor, so I want to make sure that he's just a, a, a real man hanging out with but other real men and not minors. You need to know. Oh, how many the minors. insinuation of that! Wow. You need to know how many minors you're talking to. Do That's I? kind of creepy, dude. Okay. You're the one taking video and pictures of a minor. I'm looking right at you, buddy. Are you a minor? You weren't. You were pointing it at them. Are you a minor? You were pointing it at them. Are you a minor? You're kind of sick. Okay. Just for the record. Sure. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, brother? If you want to post pictures of kids on Facebook, that's fine. Let them. That's weird, but I got you. You like posting other people's kids? <sighs> oh, is that another phone? <laughs> See, buddy, I don't have a problem with you. Oh, it's earbuds. Yeah, Even I don't better, have a problem. you can block us out. I don't have a problem with you. Yeah, those are some nice earbuds, though. I don't have a problem with you guys at all. But you guys seem to not really care about the customers here. You guys so, wanted, you guys wanted, you guys wanted to On that it. note, let me have a respectful conversation with you on that note. Right, let's do it, please. All let right. me finish, though. Let me finish, though, please. Okay. All right? You guys said that you were investigating something, yep. right? Totally cool. Yep. Regardless of what it is, no matter what it is. I assume when I see this type of shit, it's probably some fucking person that's like either stealing too much in the local neighborhood. I see these YouTube channels where someone's probably a, a sexual predator. I respect all that shit, okay? You guys are going inside of Rubio's. You guys are going to eat. You guys are going to put masks on and then start filming. Regardless of what we're we doing. inside of Rubio's. We don't okay. ever go inside. All right, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong then. And that's, right. what, that's what that's what the people were saying. You guys were inside of there. We were and, never inside of there. All right, awesome, great. If you guys were never inside of there, you guys strictly just came to be like, hey, you know, it's a Wednesday and we got stuff to do, so we're going to go investigate stuff. Awesome. But the fact that you guys are going to be like, hey, no matter what, it's so important that we're going to disrupt all those other people here. The only reason why I came here is because I got multiple calls. But how did we disrupt anything? Well, hold on. All right. I, so, well, that's what I was going to ask. How do you explain what, what disruption were we, considering okay, we so talked me, to nobody and we engaged nobody? So for me, straight up, I come here and I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. But when I get calls from customers saying like, hey, we don't know what these guys are up to. There's three gentlemen. He has something in it. He has equipment. We don't know what's inside of there. They have masks on. And those same people, have, those same finish. people walked out of here carrying a purse, and I, I don't know what they have in their purse. Can I finish? Go ahead. All right. But your point, like, you got to let me make my points back, right, and ahead. I'm going to rebut you. I'm going to pause and rebut you. So the same people that would call you and be like, hey, oh, my God, I don't know what they have in there. Women carry purses. Do you know what's inside their purse? Okay, so that's fair. But that's not the reason why. You didn't call them. You're not fearing them. They're fearing you. Okay. The people of this business are like Because they didn't ask. Okay. And that's what I'm here. I wanted to know what you guys are doing. You guys said that you guys are investigating something. You're obviously the oldest one here who knows the most. And these other two were kind of quiet. You was giving me the most attitude. And I'm just like, okay, that's fine. I'm still here without a mask, just trying to do my job, making sure that these people, if I leave, all these other people are going to be like these three young guys, horrible guys are the brain masks and hoodies and we're fucking scared so i'm like fine i'm gonna do my job to make sure that they feel a little bit safe i'm not gonna make 
some trouble for you guys. You guys want to talk shit to me? Fine, go ahead. You know, I don't care. You know, what the, you guys are gonna. You the guys talking gonna, shit you comes do? off with depending on how you respond in the first place. Okay. Well, I didn't say a word to you guys. You guys started talking to me first. What's up, guys? Just hanging out. You guys feel me right now? I wasn't trying to be hostile to you guys. Now you guys were giving me that energy first. It was going both ways because you didn't, you didn't, to. but you didn't like the answer, and you just spun around, got on the phone, walked away, didn't disengage from the conversation at all. What are you guys filming right now? We're just filming. Okay. So that, I mean, you gave us attitude right off the bat. Because of you guys. What's that? No, I answered your question when you okay. yeah, when you asked what we were doing. Filming. I said I'm filming. Yeah, but then that was the last thing you asked. You didn't. Hear you you didn't. Hear you me. didn't bother to ask any more questions, and you were also standing a little bit away. So with that behind me, it's a little hard to hear. Okay. This is a little better. Okay. But what questions do you have? You guys were said you were investigating something. Yes. What are you guys investigating? So we investigate how people respond to our First Amendment rights to film in public. That's number one. Okay. And from this restaurant, it's been pretty bad. <laughs> and it's not the management. I mean, the, the employees have been great. The patrons, you know, come out and ask questions. Don't just mad dog me and flip me off and do everything. All right, well, you're going to get what you give. You know what I mean? 100%. I understand and that. When you came up, I get it. You're responding to a situation that you're unaware of. You're coming in based on the information that was provided to you. I understand it. But you could have asked a few more questions. You you started a conversation and stopped in the middle of a conversation and took off. And then got on the phone. That tells me that you had no interest in learning anything. You just wanted to give off a little bit of power or whatever you, it was that you're on. And you know, you didn't really care to want to know what we were doing initially. Because you've asked more questions now than then. It was the energy that I felt. What's up, guys? Just hanging out. You guys feel me right now? Also, this I was very polite right to here. you. You you've been somewhat polite this whole time. It's been the young gentleman in the middle. He gave me the finger multiple times. So he's been he. he's been rowdy. He's been a rowdy bunch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's his own man. <laughs> I got you. Awesome. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, what can I look? What can I? What can I? Uh, what page do I look on it? Uh, I'll have to share that with you in a little bit. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know I'll see, I'll see you guys on the thing. I want to see you guys got when, when I can look at it, man. Yeah. Right. So, um, if you want to give him your email, I'll send it to you later. He'll take it out. Okay. Any more questions that you had? He knows what we're doing here. <laughs> he obviously watches the stuff. Um, part of what we teach people is that you have zero expectation in, in public. Zero. None, zero, zilch. Every building, every business, every Tesla, every most cars have webcams now. You're being recorded over a hundred times every time you leave your house. Every day. Anytime you leave your house, you have no privacy. You just walk out the door, you're being recorded by every house that you pass, every apartment complex, everything. So we teach people and remind people that the only reason they notice this camera is because there's a person attached to it. That's it. If I just put a camera right there, stuck it on a pole, nobody gives two shits. Hey, you have a good one. So this helps remind them that you're constantly being filmed while you're out in public. And if you want privacy or you expect privacy, you have to create that privacy yourself. I understand that. And that's what we're out here to teach. But we only teach people that care to stick around and ask a few more questions, not ask a question and then walk away like they got a chip on their shoulder. that you guys got was how it was, I was received. Okay. You know? Initially, we were all just told you we were filming. 100%. And then you walked away. Okay. Yeah, it was how you guys were... And then you got on the phone. That's how you guys said it. What are you guys filming right now? We're just filming. Okay. You know, because the management and the customers, they said it was a certain deal. Okay. Did, did, did they so, ask questions? No. That's whatever they I told you is full of shit. We never... Okay. I got you. In practicing what we do, too, man. I do this full time. In practicing this, we never stop on private property. Okay. Number one. Got you. So there's no way we were inside of there and started filming and creating the, like whatever, whoever made that up is full. Of okay. So I understand that, but I, because I heard that story, I had to, I had to figure out what 
figure out who's telling the truth. And that's understandable. Okay. But then okay. ask more questions. How do you figure out who's telling the truth if you don't ask more questions the first time? Okay. When I tried to ask the first couple of questions. You were standing three times the distance you are right now. Okay. I Every three seconds, this car is going behind me. I couldn't hear. Okay. And I'm not going to engage with somebody without being able to pick up the audio. So. If you want to ask, you're genuinely curious, be curious, ask questions. Come a little closer, have the, have the conversation. If you are the face of the security, have the conversation, ask the questions. Yeah. This didn't need to go to different phone calls and call in supervisors and police, not, not that they're gonna do anything, but you know. No, I knew that you guys were on the sidewalk, you guys aren't breaking any rules. I wanted to know what you guys were doing. If you guys were on the property, at any point in time, that would have been a different story. Mm -hmm. I didn't see you guys on the property. You guys said that you guys weren't on the property. Yep. So there's nothing I can do about it, okay? So was it an employee that said we were on the property? If you guys, what's it called, at any point in time, were on the property, or are on the property, then you guys aren't allowed to film on it, okay? We wouldn't have. I got you. But was it an employee or a patron that told you guys that we were in there? Do I have to answer that question? I just, if, you, if you want an honest conversation like I've been giving, I expect it back. Yeah, when it comes to who did what, when it comes to any type of call, I can't say if it's a customer, management, employee, co-worker, I'm not allowed to. Okay. Customer, manager, no. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. If you guys are 100% doing what you say you're doing. Absolutely, we got it all on video. We record everything. I have no problem with that, all right? It's just the energy. And if you think that I could have answered or asked questions more and been more professional, 100%. Well, so okay. I'm not I'm here not to tell you that you're doing professional or not. How you do your job is 100% up to you. Okay. I'm just saying, if, you, if you're coming here to investigate something and find out who's telling the truth, how do you do that by asking one question and then walking away? Okay, yeah. You didn't, no follow-up questions, no finding out what we're you know really doing here, what we're about giving the courtesy of coming up a little bit closer so I can hear you without struggling with everybody behind me. Now I can actually hear you. You talk very softly, by the way, which is, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> so it's not like you're very boisterous or anything. So standing three times the distance as you are right now, you gotta give me a little credit there. Understandable. So I expect if somebody wants a conversation and want answers from me, that they're gonna come up and have a conversation, not stand over there and have a conversation with me. I do feel like, even though I tried, that you three had energy off the top. We can agree to disagree, it's fine. Well, I the energy don't... goes both ways, either way. So, so when you're getting I on don't... the phone and you're calling supervisors and police, whatever it is, the phone calls you made, like, okay, that, uh, that instantly you're going to get attitude. So yeah, that's fine. You know, if you felt like I should have done something different, that's cool. Maybe we both could have. Yeah, absolutely. I think we can Life is that. about learning from each other, not one-sided. Yes, sir. So. So, I don't have a problem. You guys will keep doing your thing, okay? All right. All right I'm so. Mike, by the way. Yes, sir. Jeffrey, nice to meet Jeffrey? you. Jeffrey? Yeah. I'll give you a... Oh! <laughs> yes, Axel, nice to meet you. You too, kiddos. All right, man. By the way, these are my kids. Yes, sir. Yeah. Public photography. What is that? We just take video of pictures in public, different buildings, different people. For what purpose? So we disseminate our interactions with people throughout different cities and towns across America. A lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our treat walk. Nice, nice. Yeah. Hey, make sure she gets a lot. He does. You have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful day. All right, guys, we are here in San Diego. We're doing a revisit today of a particular city hall. Beautiful ocean view. Could you imagine how much this city hall costs to build here on this location? Something I'm gonna ask them today. I'm gonna ask them for their yearly maintenance, annual maintenance costs, and uh, how much it costs to uh, purchase this plot of land and whatnot. So we are gonna go in here and practice our First Amendment rights to film and keep our government in check.
Can I help you? Um, I had a couple things I needed to get done when you have a few minutes. I need about 10 minutes. That's fine. Minutes. That's perfect. Information Act form. You guys have them. You mean the public records request? Yeah, yeah just one second. Mm -hmm. And you're welcome to take a seat. Well, you can move this stuff over and take a seat, or you can just write it here. I'll do it on the counter. And just let me know when you're done, and then I'll send it off to the city clerk for you. Yep. make sure we have everything we need okay i will go ahead and get this off to our city clerk and then she'll go ahead can i get a copy of that one yeah no problem. thank you sure it's stamped and let's all go ahead and get that off to them right away for you awesome thank you very much thank you thank you, thank you. you have a wonderful day thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. so if anybody remembers this shop um it was the old psychic that didn't predict she was going out of business and um they opened up a new shop where they sell summer dresses without a name to the location. Would you mind stopping the recording unless you want to show your faces, please? What's that? Stop recording. I'm not getting permission for recording. I'm not going to stop. Show your faces, please. I'm not going to do that either. No, you, show your face you or I'm going to call the police. You, okay. you're, not allowed, you're not allowed to uh, do this. This is a, uh, a telegram office as well, and it's an emergency okay. service. Okay, you're incorrect. But no, we're not incorrect. You can check the license on okay. that. You're uh, incorrect uh, about us not allowed. We we're allowed to do this. To you don't need to. Time. We're in public. You do not have to give us permission. You know, uh, the point is you, you're disguising yourself and uh, trying to use this in some weird way. In a weird I'm way? I'm asking you not to videotape. What sir? would be the weird okay. way? All I'm saying is we were filming an empty storefront until you came out. No, you're not. It's not an empty storefront. It's a business. Yeah, so regardless, we were filming some dresses. You're going to have to call the police then. I told you this is an emergency service provider situation. Okay. Of which we're getting no information of. What emergency services are you providing? It doesn't matter. Like, <laughs> we're on a public sidewalk. Yeah, we're not impeding his emergency service. Why is his pants weird? Like, it looked like he was doing something in there. Yeah, I noticed that's a kind of hand Ready with our descriptions and everything. 
But don't talk so I can hear him. Yes. 1105B. He said the word scared, even though he came out and almost accosted us. Last time we went a little better than this. Wait, so this guy's actually happy last time. I've asked you to stop that now because this is a telegram office and it's against the law. No, You're it's not. not. To You're that. incorrect. No, I'm not incorrect. This is protected by the Privacy Act of Congress. You're wrong. So you're going to have to destroy those tapes. You're wrong. I'm not wrong. You can check it. You can go to the Congressional Secrecy Act. I'm not inside your store, and this I'm is, not collecting this is any not information. Just a store. It's a telegram office as well. Regardless. I'm not allowed to photograph. We I'm absolutely allowed to photograph. Don't argue with me. I'll let the police come and deal with the police. Okay, they're going to that's, educate you. That's fine. You we know, will. Uh, but you're also against federal law. And we'll it is get not. your ID, and you need to have to destroy that. You're it not is not. To photograph and nobody's getting my ID. I don't even have one, so they can't get mine. Well, you'll deal with the police. Hey, okay, they're not going to do anything. I'm not worried that they're going to do anything. You're just breaking the law. I don't know why you want to. I don't know what We're not breaking the nonsense. law. You are when it's a federal telegram office. This is what You're it is. wrong. Is we, are allowed, we are allowed You're to film allowed any to federal building. A, tele, a federal telegram office because it's protected by the uh, Privacy Act of Congress. No, it's not. Yes, not it inside is. there, maybe. Go not ahead, out go here. Ahead. Go ahead and look it up. Inside there, know. maybe, but not out here, and not also, whatever I can you're see. You're also doing very suspicious things with your mask on and all, and okay. you're disrupting business right now. You so, wearing a mask is suspicious with two years ago? You guys ever, all of you made us wear masks? Okay. I don't know what you're saying. All right. How are we disrupting? We're standing at the edge of the I sidewalk. Know, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. So if he has yeah, a private telegram business here, then explain to me why he has people coming in here to buy dresses. Yeah. If this is a private business, why are people allowed to walk in and buy dresses? And if it is a private telegram office, why does he have the door open for us? First location, you guys freaked out on us. I wasn't expecting anything from here. How are we the suspicious ones? He's running a telegram office while selling summer dresses as a front. It's a quote unquote telegram office that sells summer dresses and he has skirts hanging from his, his computer right there. That's crazy. He's calling us weird. Last time, this guy did okay. This is the
the strangest encounter with this gentleman ever. Like, federal telegram office that sells summer dresses. You're all good. Has dresses hanging off the monitors on his desk. This is weird. Like, what is he doing? He's so concerned about privacy, guys. Why would he leave the damn door open? The question is, why is he coming out with his pants halfway undone and his shirt halfway untucked? Yeah. yeah with skirts hanging off his computer. As he came with his pants kind of down, his shirt half untucked, part of his belly showing. What was he doing in there with all those dresses? And he's got like multiple monitors too. Hey, Don. Uh, just, you know, somebody was telling us some weird stuff was going on in here. and <laughs> Apparently we're right. Cause it's... Super hey, cute dogs. How you doing? Guys, for the record, we're on the back of the sidewalk. everything's suspicious nowadays literally the guy that was parked here left went right there and then pulled down the alley right there and parked right there i think that's suspicious isn't that suspicious that's suspicious why is he parking over there why does he got window tint window tint suspicious never know what he's doing over there i'm in fear he has window tent and he moved his car 18 feet from where it was down an alley i'm in fear of my life guys come help me I'll let you guys decide i'm gonna have to put the video up but i think he was in there doing something he shouldn't have been i'm only here guys to ensure that um, I disseminate things as we experience them and as they happen. So you guys definitely got to make some decisions on this one. So he's on the phone with the sergeant right now. And this entire time he's arguing with them about what we're allowed not to do here or what we're allowed to do. He doesn't like that the sergeant is telling him to leave us alone. I like I'm gonna keep coming back here until he becomes my friend. Jack. Sheriff just rolled by and said, what's up, Jack? <laughs> oh, that's too funny. <laughs> he said, what's up, Jack? <laughs> Just came by and waved at me. No, I know. So this is. Um, you the, can show uh, me that. The, it has nothing to do with anybody yeah, yeah, standing yeah. on this the sidewalk. This is that. You can film this if you want. Yeah. Uh, See, what it is is you're going to you're going to put us on the uh, YouTube on, channel, so and you're going you're not going to let me speak. So that's no, how no, you're going to show I that. I told him to chill. Uh, so the thing of it is, this is a telegram office. Okay. Can you not that, talk behind it? Because I can't uh, hear you. This is a telegram office, and um, if you put us on the YouTube channel, you're going to subject us to terrorism. The whole point is we don't want that to be out there. That's because not... we're handling emergency service telegram messages, life and death. Okay, but can and, you understand and, and, that I did, and this how... may be a First okay. Amendment right? He explained to me. I did yeah. all that, but but you, you want to you want to talk, but you don't want to listen. Um, no, I'm, I'm just telling no, you. No. I'm just telling you to show you that this but is the rules. But of the you're telegram incorrect. Office, you know, 
I don't want to be on camera. You don't have that choice. You, you know, came out. Uh, this was a dress shop. You, you, you came you out. Me in my you came out and announced that it was a telegram office. How would I, I know I'm that? I'm not sir, giving you the reaction you sir, want. I've been reading that. You already did. Why are your pants falling down when we came in? But sir, I've, I was reading that. All it says is we can't be in there recording telecommunications, not out here recording. Why don't you read it about loitering? Because this is loitering. It's federally against. Loitering in there. Yeah. Special care so, should be taken to discourage uh, unauthorized persons that you are from loitering about the vicinity of the telegram. Telegraph office. Okay, so, and there's and nothing you can do about that. You're on public that property. Up to about right now, there. you can't determine what's loit loitering is this. If you, if it was, um, if I'm telling you you're loitering, um, that's wrong. But loitering is being here without a purpose. I'm here with a purpose. You're also no, not you're an loitering. officer of the law. You you're can't loitering. tell us we're loitering. Loitering is a First Amendment right. It's illegal. So, except we're not loitering. You're loitering right no, now. we are here with a purpose, which is to film your building. Loitering is being somewhere without a purpose. Learn the law before you pronounce it and, you know, get in people's no, you, faces about it. They don't give you permission to photograph. They don't give you permission to photograph this store. You don't have to. You, you don't have to. Private property. You don't have to. The landlord owns anything, the property. Anything I can and see secondly, from public, I can film. And secondly, um, aside from that, you're going to cause a, a terrorism to be to be a subject of us that's really dangerous but how, and how, so if that's the weirdest thing anybody's that, ever said we well it might be but we're telling why would then why would you come out and announce then why would you come out and announce that you're a telegram office you're an idiot why would you come out and tell people that didn't know it looked like a dress shop. Why would you make you that are announcement? Filming us and are doing it without our permission. And, we don't uh, need your permission. Not with, re with ne out regard to uh, whether it's going to hurt us. You don't care. And that's, that's not true. You might want to protect your First Amendment rights, but to photograph something that might result in somebody getting killed is wrong. You're wrong. And that's what you're Why doing. would you come out and so announce I'm that? I'm you to kindly stop. Sir, I'm not. Otherwise, all I'm going to say, go to all I'm gonna say is you're the one who came out, out and announced this. I'm asking this? you to not use that and to please stop. You don't have that choice. This sir. is, it's not, it's, if you want to know that it, it may not be my choice now, I can't stop you, but we are a telegram office handling emergency service telegraphic communication. Why would you announce that? And why would you announce that? 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 But why would you announce it? Why would you announce it? But why would you announce it? But why would you announce it? But why would you announce it? Stop talking. I don't have to. I don't have to. You don't want. You're going to put us at danger. Okay. You're risking our lives. You did that. Your dresses are putting people at danger. You did that. You came out, You're you announced it. Lies. You, you having lies. your pants halfway down is putting people in danger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was about. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wow, bro. I'm fucking... Yeah, I, was I don't reading. even know what to do with that. Even that lady was laughing. I was literally reading this. Cool. You're an idiot. We didn't touch anything. We got it on camera. How convenient. You're not cool for blaming us. Why would you try to blame us for that? You have a lot of uh, conclusions when I didn't say a word. You said that's not cool. How's that our fault? You got a guilty body. Uh huh? Really, really great. Says great the person that ran out. Great legacy you're yep. leaving for your kids. Absolutely. Okay. Great legacy. You're I already told retired. You. Like you, I so. told you. I told you this is uh, hurting us, and you're hurting people. And you're disrupting. It is absolutely people. not. Yeah, keep that in it mind. It is absolutely not. Well, you are right now. No one's gonna terrorist bomb your dress store. This is one self-important person. They got all kinds of jewelry in there. Oh uh, no, we're just. Huh? We're just taking a look at everything. A little concerned with security here. You guys got masks on outside or Oh, well, you have cameras. You know what? Let me help you. Only because I saw their stupid ass video. Um, <laughs> they're testing everybody. They tested City oh, Hall and everything. Yeah, don't. No, I wouldn't. Have a good day, guys. Yep. So, I'm just curious. I'm curious why you think the First Amendment is stupid. I want to know that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I, I'm. 
What I actually heard is you guys make millions of dollars. No. I think it's great. All right, well. I don't have any issues with the mask, but you should tell people at least what you're doing. I usually do when they ask well, after they, no, no, City Hall. after they ask the second time. The security issue here, though, you're yeah, business, this is, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like that's anything. a you issue, not a me issue. Yeah. yeah so if there is a like security a, issue, you have cameras to watch us. Yeah. And you're even yeah. filming us now. Yeah. Regardless, yeah. is it illegal? Yeah. No, so I'd like, okay. like to know who you are. Oh, no. Right. I'm not going to give you my information. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's insane. That's what I don't know. You need to assault them. Oh, no, I'm, not, right. I'm not assaulting them. They're, they're trying to get something. Exactly. They're, yeah. they're, they're probably but fun, you know? Fast. Well, you're a little misinformed. You guys should go to the Palestinian protest right now. It's happening. It's Gaza. It's way bigger than Israel. I don't know why you're here. I was going to go to that today. I don't know why you carry so much anger. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's got to get it's on his chain. Uh, Civil War's about to break out. It's on his chain. Yeah, there's guys with like masks on, filming anyway, stuff. I find it interesting. I don't. It's uh, whatever you want. Over there, they they just drove by and waved at us. That's not. They're not. They're not calling the cops. City Hall one. How did we instigate anything? You're in front of my store with like one, two cameras, lights, you know, like GoPros. But how did we? How did we instigate anything? Because what you're wearing and you're standing in okay. my store. So I'm, I'm wearing something illegal? Okay. No, no, no. Take care. All right. Yeah. An outfit is an instigation. It's got to be the weather, guys. Like, we're two for two. It's got to be the weather. Also, the guy th the guy said we're making millions of dollars, so I'm waiting for my check. This off. The guy drove by and flipped this off on the way out. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't even bother. Don't even bother. Don't give him the attention. So we are here, last time we were here, they actually had this uh, really cool uh, Valentine's display. The whole window is pink. And then she was explaining why they use fake flowers for the display. And it is because this window pane, when it is not completely overcast, gets an enormous amount of sun and will fry the flowers in a matter of a few minutes. Oh, hello. How's it going? <laughs> How have you been? Good. You changed the display. <laughs> <laughs> I like the other one better. It was all pink and beautiful. I think that was Valentine's one. Was that? No, I know. I know. I was here last time and you were super friendly to us. And, and oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that was my boss. Oh, oh, was it your boss? That wasn't you? Oh, I thought it was you. You looked the same. We do kind of look the same. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cool. No, last yeah. time we were here, she was really friendly to us and we were talking about the display. She explained why you guys use fake flowers in the windows and... You know, yeah. that was kind of cool. That's fine. Yeah, you can film all you want. No, absolutely. Okay. I appreciate that so much. so much. Uh, what was your name? Tanya. I'm Mike. Mike. Perfect. You have a wonderful day. I, I still love the store. Thank you so much. All the employees here are super nice. Yeah. As always, guys, it's a win for... Uh, Jolie Fresh Flower. Jolie Fresh what? Fresh Flower. Oh, Jolie Fresh Flower. Because <laughs> I blocked the sign, so I couldn't see it. Um, so always a win for them. They're always super nice and friendly to us. The gentleman said I'm supposed to be supposedly making millions of dollars. Where's my check? You know, it's funny. I skipped his. Huh? I don't mind. Okay. I got I got my best face on today. I'm sorry. I have my best face on today. All oh, right, on. I gotta show it off. What are you guys filming? Uh, I don't want to yell it, so if you want to come closer, I can share it with you. Uh huh. So okay, what we do is we uh, <laughs> eye contact at least. If you can put the phone down a little bit. All right. <laughs> I'm looking right at you. 
Look in here. So I can see your face. I'm, I'm showing you my face. All right. All right. Well, take off your mask so I can see your face. No, I'm not going to do that. You can see this, gonna is, do this, that? Is, this is the best smile right here. All right, buddy. All right. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to know. He just wanted to take pictures. I just wanted to explain to him and not his, you know. All right. I guess we got to go back to his store because I skipped it because they were so nice last time. Don't leave. I'm gonna call 911. All right. Well, now I have to. Now I have to come. You can call 911, sir. That's fine. I'll wait here for the police. You got it, buddy. All right. You know, last time you guys were so friendly, I did. I, I just skipped the nope. store. You didn't uh, even let him explain. I don't trust people with masks on. Okay, and I don't trust you. Yeah. I don't you trust can, people who use right old landmines. I'm not leaving, Nick Bear. Hi. Uh, there's three guys with masks on right here. <laughs> Conveniently, the cops right there. He's right there at the stop sign on the other side. Right there. Oh yeah, he's right up there. For your convenience, the sheriff is right there. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, he's right up the street there. So he's allowed to film the street and film us, but we can't film him because you literally filmed me without my consent right there on the corner of the building. Yeah, not only one, there's two there's right there. There's one right there. There's another one next to that one right there. He's got three or four cameras just right. Actually, there's another one over there. Look at that. Yeah, another one over there. So he's filming us without our consent, oh, but least, suddenly... Uh, at least six cameras watching us. Sweet! Now she wants to be on it. Hello. <laughs> I was gonna explain it to him. Yeah, you you asked him. You just if you really want to know, I mean, you could ask. Yes, sir. Yeah. What's up? That's... What's that? You want me to come by your house and film you? And... This is your house. Your I'm you sorry, you live, live here. here. Would you like me to come over your house and film your film your family? You you like like that? Well, that's a little different. I'm I'm on a public sidewalk in front of a business, not a house. Why are you threatening to record our families? Why are you threatening to come to my house? Would you like me to come over your house and do what you do right now? Would you like that? If you did, I'd probably give you a high like five that? and a bottle of water. Come on, man. Just grow up and leave. This isn't your house, and I'm not leaving. Okay. Uh, In fact, fine. you called me over here. Okay. okay. I called you over here? Yeah, Absolutely. You it's on video. Just leave, man. Come I'm on. not leaving. You guys grow up and get a real job. The funny part is, we yeah. went over here. We weren't even near you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we walked past Even you though you know, film us without our consent walking by. You can stay here all you want. Grow up. Absolutely not. I'm grown. And why would I want a real job? Explain Explain to me the benefits of a real job. Uh, you know, make an honest living. I am making an honest living. I retired four years ago. Explain why you would want a job after retiring. Okay, I retired four years ago. Chicken shit. Okay, all right. Okay, that's fine. You're the only person that's been calling names this whole time. Just wait till but you, gets here. But you want to stand on a moral high ground. Huh? It is walk acceptable. With masks, it doesn't matter if it looks acceptable. What if I don't want to be filmed by every business that I walk by? It's just chicken shit with the mask filming us? We you were filming us at first. What are you we talking about? We're not. You recorded I us. I walked before. by. You filmed me without your consent. Without my consent. Is, it, is this really that big of a deal? Absolutely. Seriously? If you guys Absolutely. are making a big deal well, out of it. Robbed. Okay. So can I. This is for my you security. Know what look like? This is for my security. They look like you. They look like me. Absolutely. Glasses, they, really? A robber yeah. could be anybody. Yeah. yeah. You ever been robbed? No, but yeah, I'm not no, trying haven't. to get robbed. You never but had a anyone could be a robber. <laughs> why does that matter? Okay, you're you're you just making that. that okay. Hard. Well, that's a you problem. That's, they look like you. That's not this okay. situation. All right. You know, I'm, I'm not saying it is. All right. I'm saying well, it looks suspicious. suspicious. I don't know. Then no, that's, that's, that's how you're allowed to feel, just like I'm allowed to find you suspicious. I think your hat is suspicious. I don't like the glasses you're wearing. I think the gold ring is a little thuggish. Oh, yeah. But, you know, yeah. so you're suspicious. You want a problem, I'll give you a problem. You're suspicious. Nobody wants a problem. You're creating a problem. So now you're, making, so now you're making threats. Threats? You just did. You literally just threatened us. I could be a handshake and a bottle of water. That's <laughs> not quite. <laughs> that, that did not insinuate handshake and a bottle of water at all. Well, you don't know me. I'm you just asked me, you said, I'm going to give you a problem. That's A yeah. problem isn't a bottle, a bottle of water. water and a handshake. Uh-huh, all right. That's genuine. That would have been the right thing to do from the beginning. Exactly. In fact, I skipped the store because last time I here, was here, whoever was working here was very polite to us. So I skipped the location. This time, you guys called us back over here. He just realized, he's like, oh, maybe I am the asshole. He's literally, we walked past. Hello. <laughs> Doing a good day, man. See, and that's where we were filming, and he was okay with it. <laughs> the guy with the large chin. The jittering chin. 
guys, this is why we come back a second time, a third time, a fourth time to the same areas to see if anybody's learned anything. The gentleman, even though he didn't like us here, was trying to explain to the jewelry store or whatever it was that, you know, what we did. And I was fine with it. He didn't have to agree with it. He didn't like it. He thought it was cool that, you know, this was a job. But we come back to make sure that people had those conversations. I would not have expected the liquor store who was fine with us last time to then flip this time. You know, it is what it is. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Thank you for asking. I love the hat. <laughs> and the shoes. Jeez. Oh, he's got Mario. Oh my God, I love the shirt now too. He's got mushroom on the back. It is drizzling a little bit, guys, but I ain't gonna mind it. We do this shit in the rain, pouring rain. Like auditors or something? Yes, we yeah. are. Oh, that's a cool thing. <laughs> you can catch any uh, law enforcement yet? No, so the sheriff's over there. You guys should see his taillights. They know us already. They're really yeah. friendly. In fact, they. The sheriff in San Diego always really friendly and cordial with us. Yeah. Um, San Diego PD, not so much, but in this area, it's more, we do public audits as well to just remind people that you're constantly being filmed. I mean, just walking by this liquor store, we got eight Six cameras. cameras. We, so, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not like they're asking our consent to film us in public, but oh, totally. the second I pointed the camera at him, he had a full on meltdown wow. and called us terrorists and all kinds of other stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, which is a little weird, but you know, um, yeah, it is what it is, man. So we just remind people you're constantly being filmed, yeah. remind people about our rights and to be able to be able to be free enough to do this. Yeah. And then remind people that if you want privacy in public, you have to create that privacy yourself. All right. So, how does CHP respond? To that? So or do they we not have not had they, to deal with them. Here so I haven't had to deal with them yet. So normally where we are, it's not really a CHP issue. So yeah. we haven't had to really deal with them yet. They've, um, they've, it's all uh, sheriff's departments, police departments for the most part. Interesting. Well, CHP does roll through here. They're by far the most serious of all the groups. Oh, nice. That yeah. I've engaged with. I'm Good to know. <laughs> yeah, you haven't had any issues? Not at all. They haven't even talked to us. I've gotten a few tickets, but... <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. You guys got like a YouTube channel or something? We do, but we don't give that out while we're working. But no, oh. um, if you just go on YouTube, you'll find it at some point. If you follow any kind of auditing stuff. Yeah. We're, we're one Search of the fastest for like growing. Delmar. Yeah, Delmar. Yeah, we're one of the fastest growing. All right. Cool. All right. What was your name? Uh, uh, Tony. Yeah. All right. Nice to meet you. Well, my name is Mike. We'll go somewhere. Like yeah, yeah. All right. Well, good luck, guys. Yeah. All right, brother. Hey, I love your shirt, man. I soon saw the Mario Kart. I was like, sweet. <laughs> you have a good one. And that is an emotionally stable person. Let's take a look at this wall. That's cool. How you doing? I like the camera. Oh, the setup? That is serious. You wanted a picture. Yeah, we also got some good lighting on here. All How you doing? Right. My name's Mike. Mike Dennis. Awesome. You have a good day, buddy. Good day. Got some staircase pictures going on. Some staircase photographers. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I like this bench though. Yeah, this is a really cool bench. It's a it's a bench. Yeah, it's just a Yeah, it's a bench. It's just a big chunk of rock that they put on the bench. Alright. Yeah, it's okay. So I think she was trying to get a picture of these. I don't know what these are. I've honestly never seen them. Oh wow, does anybody know what these are? That's crazy. You know, it's very high school. I'm not blocking the driveway. No. I think that's cool. I'm getting a combat already. <laughs> they actually named these houses. That was weird. Is he? Yeah. Nice. What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. You guys think you're going to buy some real estate? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
What are you guys filming? I, don't think we can oh, I was just taking a video of the area. Del Mar. Yep. Okay, right on. Quite a, quite a rig you got there. A little bit. It's on there. GoPro. What are those lights? Yeah. It's cool. Okay, thought you guys were going right. to come by a house. Oh, not yet. For someone. <laughs> this one's points, almost seven. That one's not a house. How much is the Crosby? 5.4. That's like a regular house with a nice backyard. You could buy this house for 5.4 million or rent the house above it for Does that one say eight mil? A month. The one on top right there? Uh, no, the RSF Covenant. Oh yeah, well the bridges Jeez. Hey guys, that's cool. Nice Chase Bank right here. It's the entrance. It's got like this grand ballroom entrance. Is he keeping an eye on us? Shit! He yeah. <laughs> <You> actually went! <laughs> <laughs> they got some uh, traffic moving issues here. Yeah, now, as the light turns, he's whole ass blocking the crosswalk. Yeah. You stay, you stay. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> he apologized. He's all sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I I get it, man. We've all done that. That was kind of funny. They're learning about this building. That's Where are they going? I don't know. That's another one though. Bus. That is a good bus driver. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jeez. Damn. I'm surprised this side. <laughs> This is a tight ass turn. Yeah, You're at a United States post office, Del Mar, California. Got the entrance for the employees right there. So. She ran out. Is there something I should be running from in there? Oh. <laughs> you, you, you scared me. <laughs> Yeah, I have my best face on today. <laughs> da, da, da. Ooh, look at look at the age of these post office boxes. Look at these guys. Those are some old school post office boxes. Hold on. Excuse me, ma'am. Hold on. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, I'll tell. Yeah, I see. Well, where do they have the post for seven at? Find the post for seven. I'm not sure. I'm fairly sure they heard it though. Actually, oh, it's right there, yeah. So we actually have permission from Postmaster to be here today. There you go. We do. <laughs> this is the first time we've had. Right now, second time we've had. Okay. There you go. So we have permission from. We have permission from the postmaster to be here. What do you mean? It's right here on the wall where you're allowed to film in the. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Guys, hold on. Don't. There's no need to assault anybody. But can I can I show you where we have permission to be in here? Yeah. Okay. It's right here. What's that? Actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in here and record in here while he does that. I'm gonna call the police. I'll show you where we have permission to be in the post office. And I'm, I'm yeah. yeah, while filming, we're allowed to be. It's on the wall right here on poster seven. It is your guys' policy. Okay. Are you guys aware of poster seven? Have you read poster seven? You work for the post office, right? The rules and regulations of the post office allow us to come film in here. It is posted it's, on your guys' wall. If you're willing, I'll show it to you. I have no problem showing it to you. Ma'am, I will show it to you if you want to see it. So you don't want to be educated about your job?
response from the post office. Look at that bug. Damn! <laughs> that thing is scary. Almost as scary as the response here. You guys always come in to... We do every post office across the United States. Yeah. We come in, we film, check and see how the civil employees are doing their job, how they treat the public, how the lines are going, any you inefficiencies. Always, you come in with a mask? Absolutely, and... every time. Okay. That's a What's your giant name? cockroach. That is huge. That's disgusting. What's, What's that? Your What's your name? Ma'am, you won't even walk with me over there so I can show you why we're allowed to be here. No, okay. you are allowed to be here. I okay. Never, yeah. Oh, but, but then, it's on your shoe now. Oh, but then why did you try to assault him? I, you did. You tried to push him away. Okay. Yeah, I have you on video trying to grab my camera. No, I didn't try okay. to grab. I asked you if you could leave That's the not. But that's not what you did at all. Okay. What's your name? I'm not going to give that to you because okay. you've been very uh, unprofessional so far. So. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? You can repost for seven. Okay. Well, no, I just, I literally, I could walk, I, I'm, are we can picking, learn together. I can, are you picking up mail? Do you no. Have, no. Okay. We don't have to be doing that to be here. Are you making a transaction? We do not have to do, we don't, we all, Poster 7 will explain. We are allowed to be here for news purposes. We are doing a story. Okay. We do them on every single post office in every city that we go to. Okay. Um, I'm fine. She did me a smart girl. Yeah, I did a lot they yeah, but it's not very smart because they actually shut down the whole retail section. That's true, that's true. There so there if no somebody customers. wants to, there are no customers, and the retail section is open. Okay, but nobody's here. If somebody walked in to buy a stamp, nobody would be here. We have a sign here that says "Rainbow for okay. service." Okay, all right, that's a different setup. I haven't seen that yet. So you guys don't normally have somebody posted up here. We do. Okay. All right. We do, but the clerks who do work in the front retail lobby, they have other duties. Right. Are you the supervisor? I am. So why are you unaware that we're allowed to be in here then? Because they've even even the DH even the DHS memo that they've sent out to you, the postmaster general has sent it out to every supervisor, mm -hmm. explaining that we can be here. Okay. But then you tried to tell us we can't be here. You're saying you're calling the sheriff, which they're also going to come here and educate you a little bit that we're allowed to be here. They know us. The sheriff knows us here. But I, well, it you're just, doing everything against the policy okay, that alerted, DHS memo it has sent you. Me that you all came in here with your cameras. But we're allowed to do and that. Your faces are covered okay. completely. But I'm allowed to create my own privacy to okay. prevent myself from being filmed in public, just okay. like you're just like you're allowed to do that. Okay. So, are you trying to say it's illegal or? I've never okay. said that. And so when you guys have the screen on and you guys are playing the post office provided informational screen, every three or four minutes it cycles in suggesting that we come in here with masks on. Okay. So is there a reason you want us to go against that? Like he's wearing a mask. No, I, I, yeah, yeah. Um, sir, just so you know, since you are a public employee, I now have to FOIA request the video footage from your phone. So make sure not to delete that because I, I have because I have proof that you're taking that video now. So I'm going to FOIA request that phone yeah, from and you. And from her too, back here. Okay. She's also been recording us. We need the footage right. of her phone as well. So we're going to FOIA request every phone that we see. I'm on the phone with them right now. They have their camera. They got one there, two there, three, four, five cameras. How you doing today? Fine, how are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. You guys were communists. All right. <laughs>
We actually are, ma'am. You are misinforming are people. Misinformed. We've been trying to inform you, and you just won't listen. There's a poster on your wall that says we're allowed to be here right now doing what we're doing. And, I can sh- and I've offered to show you several times. So it's not that we're not allowed to be here, it's just that you don't know we are. That is an embarrassing Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, Oh, my God. Are you guys filming? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're, we're just filming everything in the post office today. Okay. I like your hat. Thanks. I've never seen one of two of the. Uh... <laughs> they said these weren't closed, but they just went through and closed every single one of them. I mean, that's just a fly, but... Why don't you have one on? What? Why don't you have one on? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Well, we're not going to do any time that she's okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah, what's going on? We're waiting for the postmaster to respond so we can lock us. Okay. Okay. So, just come back tomorrow? Yeah, please. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. No nice problem. seeing you. We're shutting Thank down you. completely over our First Amendment, right? I don't really want to. Why do you have masks on? Why don't you have one on? What? Why don't you have one on? I don't know. It's kind of scary when you walk in and we see this. Why they're filming, we're not going to do any transactions. Okay. I told you I don't want to. What are you doing? Just recording our interactions at the post office. That's your your place. That's not okay. What? It's not okay. I don't even know what he tried to tell me. What happened? He just said something like, it's not your place, or like, obviously this isn't my place, it's a post office. It's all of our place. It's public property. <laughs> so that's weird. So the entire time we've been here, you hear someone bouncing a basketball. Uh, apparently he's just been playing basketball the whole time. <laughs> there he's been here. So, you know. All these bailout funds are going to good use. <laughs> Curd. <laughs> um, this place is kind of filthy. We are at the Del Mar Post Office in San Diego. They have no idea what our rights are, what we're allowed to do. We were polite. I was trying to get her to come over and see Poster 7. I even told her I would pull up the uh, DHS memo. Wanted to help her out, but um, she just, once a woman gets her, she can't change her mind. So, you know, I learned that from being married. You know, (laughs) I love my wife, though. Of the updated version of Poster 7. Now hiring. So you too can violate our rights. Camera right here, guys. Oh, really? Yep. See if he's coming. I think he did a drive by first. All this violation of rights going on while we are standing underneath our beautiful American flag and POW MIA flags. The people that have died fighting for our rights, freedoms, generations of men and women lost in this country to create this great nation. And postal person Karen decides that we don't have rights to film in public spaces and hold her accountable for doing her job while receiving 
billions of dollars a year in bailout money. Billions of dollars a year from all of your tax dollars while telling us we can't film here. Can't hold them accountable. Can't make sure the operations are going smoothly. Can't disseminate our interactions with the members of the post office. We can't disseminate processes in the post office. So, you know, while their building is posted right underneath our flag. I don't think they're coming. I do not think the sheriff's coming. I'm watching all around me right now on my 360 iPhone. <laughs> I can't believe a post office gets this view. Look at that. If I gotta have cockroaches <laughs> that big, <laughs> I don't need to live near the beach. Uh, we don't share that. He's one of the postal workers. We, we, we don't share it. You're one of the employees. We're not going to give you that information. Yeah. So we're not, we don't disclose that information. When, when a post office has gone very poorly, it's, it's you know, the, the fact that your supervisor doesn't know that, that we have the right to hold our governments accountable, including filming inside federal facilities, is written on the wall. I offered to show her the DHS memo, which she's received a copy of, that allows us to film in public. Any public property, federal or not, we're allowed to go inside, foyers, lobbies, anywhere and film we want. So, until until she learns that, we're going to have to come back every week. <laughs> Thanks for trying to be slick, though. I enjoyed it. <laughs> no, you're good. You have a good day, brother. <laughs> I know. The employee tried to be slick with us and get our information and doing it while walking out of the employee entrance. So yeah, Sheriff rolled by, <laughs> just like he's been doing all day. I don't think he wants to get involved. That's definitely one I've talked to before because he knew me by my name. Well, the name I provide them. <laughs> Guys, does anybody have any suggestions on how I fix this gap in my teeth right here? I got one air farming. Got a couple here farming. I'd like some suggestions. The surfers out there, nuts in this freezing cold water. Bye again. Oh, come back! Come back! A really good climbing tree when you're a kid. This is the perfect tree to climb. And those ones too. And yes, it is raining. There's a gentleman coming in around the bend. Hey, Doc. Good. What are you guys up to? Ah, just filming the post office to take video of post offices all over in the country. Disguise? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so this won't be mug anywhere. <laughs> I, so I had to put on my best face. Yeah, that's your best face. <laughs> Absolutely. You're in trouble, dude. <laughs> Thank you for being so nice, though. It's been a while. So we go to hundreds of post offices. It's been a while since I've seen these, the turn, the uh, the dial uh, access ones, the combo ones. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. yeah always... This post office has been here for quite some time. Yeah. <laughs> 30 years. Dang. Yeah. Well, you gotta enjoy it. You're right next to the beach. Well, what's, what's nice about the post office box is that the garbage stays here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Get it at home. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, uh, are, you doing, are you doing a YouTube video? Uh, we, well, we do have many platforms where we share our videos that we disseminate, you know, our interactions with, you know, any kind of public official, postal employees, things like that. Right. This okay. one actually did miserable um what, they don't nobody's here no uh they don't know our rights the lady came out screaming at us the supervisor right. they don't have any idea what, the, what our rights are they received each supervisor received a dhs well, it memo your it has nothing to do with that they she's saying we're not allowed to film it's illegal we're not allowed to film on federal property that's completely untrue 
Every right. supervisor for the Postal Service from the Postmaster General received a memo, it's called the DHS memo, uh-huh. that explains and explicitly breaks down that we are allowed to be here as long as we are in publicly accessible areas, foyers, lobbies, things like that. Not trying to gain entrance into any publicly, uh, any restricted access areas. You're not harassing anybody. Not at all. We don't. Yeah, that don't feel yeah that's just harassing you more. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, of course. I mean, we're cordial to everybody. We don't, we have no problems. We're not here to stir up any trouble or anything. But yeah, we walked in here. This is the first one we've ever walked in, and the supervisor came out screaming at us, and actually sure. tried. Yeah, it is. Denmark, Sadly, it's kind, of, it's kind of a kind of unusual community. I mean, it's the nicest people ever yeah. around here. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it goes one extreme to the other. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. That's yeah. kind of how the world is now. Well, it got I mean, to the point she almost tried to assault my son, who's also filming. Like, she tried to push him out. And I was like, hey, you better not touch him. You'll end up in cuffs. So, so she called the sheriff, and the sheriff drove by and waved at us because they know us. So. Right. <laughs> but this is one of the problems. Like, this is why we do this. Is you gotta, people need to know our rights. They need to know all the access to freedom so that we have. So we, so we don't share that while we're working. You have a wonderful day. Oh, yeah, we always will. Gentleman coming in. He's rounding third. He's on his way to home. Coming in for the dive. There we go. How you doing, buddy? My ride is a little late. I got, I got Betsy picking us up. So we had somebody, I think it was yesterday or day before, I don't remember when, but they tried to, they had, they tried to have a gotcha moment and like, oh, we found them, but we get Ubered and lifted everywhere, you know, uh, there's a reason for that, keeps us, you know, from being followed and whatnot. What do you think guys, should we start singing the national anthem every time we come into a place and then try to kick us out? Pretty sure that might be creating a disturbance, but <laughs> yeah, you know, it's an option, I guess, that we have later. You don't want to hear me sing, though. Jose, can you sing?